in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to add bubbles onto our footage in a very simple and easy way. So I already have a video in my project. Let me drag this onto this new composition so that we have a composition created. Let me play this for you. You can see that there is a video of few fishes. So now we'll be adding some bubbles onto the top of this footage. To do that, I'll duplicate this footage. I'll hold Ctrl on my keyboard and hit D so that it gets duplicated. Or I'll go to Edit and simply click on Duplicate. So now on the top, I'll just rename this to Bubbles, Fishes Bubbles. And now select this layer and from Effect and from Simulation, click on CC Bubbles. Once you click that, you can see that few bubbles are added. In order to make sure that they are clearly visible, I'll just change the shading type to lighten so that we can see how the bubbles are looking. The options that we have on the left are self-explanatory. I'll increase the bubble amount so that the number of bubbles increase. If I play this, you can see that this is how the bubbles are looking. And I can increase the bubble speed so that the bubbles float from the bottom to top a little bit faster. I'll increase it to 1.5. This is fine. And I'll change the wobble amplitude. You know, you can see that, you know, the bubbles are changing a bit. This is fine to me. I'll leave it to 10. You can see that if I increase the wobble frequency, it they will you know look like as if they are vibrating i'll leave this like this and i'll change the bubble size just a bit and i'll zoom in a bit and show you the difference of the reflection type between liquid and metal there is a little variation that you can notice i'll just leave this to liquid and now i'll change the shading type from lighten to fade inward so that it will look something like this and i'll and the you know the scaling properties just a bit so that so if i start playing the video you can see that there are few bubbles that are generated on the top of our footage and that is what we need you can always play with the properties that you have here and generate some bubbles onto the top of your footage depending on your requirement I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and you can download this project file just for your reference from my website. See you guys next time with another tutorial.